<laughs> what would you do if, <laughs> while you're open air preaching, a cult member like a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon hops up on the other box and wants to debate you? And the problem is you don't know a ton about their beliefs. What do you do? You have a Mormon or Jehovah's Witness jump up on the box. They want to debate you, and you don't know much about it. Really. I don't think you have to be an expert on because if you think you have to be an expert, then you've got to study up on uh, ancient Hindu sects mm. in case one gets on the box. The, the, what you just have to be an expert on is the truth of the gospel. Hold up the straight rule, and anything that comes beside it that's crooked will be seen to be crooked. So just preach the everlasting gospel. It's the power of God to salvation, and that's all you need to do. That's right, and God's Word does not return void. So you share God's Word, realize it won't return void, and you just leave the results to God. Now, that's not to say you're not to study. We need to study to show ourselves approved. Though we need to be a workman created for good works. All these things come together and they play a part. But we don't need to be overwhelmed that somebody's going to ask us a question we don't have an answer for. Right. The worst can happen is you just simply say, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't change truth. Remember, you cannot impress people with Jesus when you're trying to impress them with yourself. And there's no such thing as a cool Christian. You will stumble, you will fall over questions, and that gives us reason and an excuse to go and study these things out.